do. Post this. Make sure this is on everything else. Sure, it's playing. All right, seems to be. Do, do, do. Do the same here. Hey, Alex. I'm just making sure I'm posting on the right step. There we go. And I will close Discord because I don't need that right now. Alright then. All right, you should be able to hear me and all that. So let me know if there's any problems. Microphone should be good. All right then. Grab avocado. Okay, should be good. Oh, I should probably check settings, huh? Let me turn on Discord just in case something's wrong. <laughs> Ah, 
okay. Let me change. Let me fix that. <laughs> Yeah, it's been forever since I've used this. Uh, chat settings. Let's see. Uh, uh, let me move this so I can see. Uh, Might be over here. Uh, permissions. General. Of course, this would be the one thing I get wrong, huh? Ah, where is it? Okay, I think I know where that is. Stream. Uh, moderation. Ah, here we go. for now try it now let me know if you can type If not, then I'll still go through it anyway. This music is going hard. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you can type. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll go through the settings later to see if there's anything I need to tweak. All right then. How do I get rid of this? Whatever. All right then. Hello, every um, everyone who's coming in. Sorry for that small delay on chat. I'll have to fix it later or tweak it later. Okay. So at the moment, I am going to adjust this character. Because Alex here has said that they would like for uh, for the feet to match the, the hands, so I'm going to do that. Thank you for the follow, um, Almo. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hey, I got 10 followers now. Yay. <laughs> now on to the next goal. I'm just going to say the same thing. There we go.
Alright. So anyway, let's turn this off. Turn these off. Because I can use those later. Uh, color isn't going to be too much of a problem, but we'll turn this off for now. this so yeah I'll keep discord on just in case there's any other issues to do Checking to make sure I'm doing any, getting the right reference and all that. Yeah, that's what I thought it'd be. Oh my god, seriously? All day and no, get no text, and then suddenly I'm popular. And I'm going to tell them I'm busy. if I kept that open so it wouldn't make any noise. Alright. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I worked on her a little bit last night. I still want to do her blinking animation, so I'll probably do that either on stream or off. So that would be fun. And then later on I want to do more stuff with her. But yeah, I'm either going to do more with Becky or I'm just going to have like different avatars to use and stuff like that. But I thought it would be fun. And then I'm definitely going to still make the stream look nicer and stuff like that. So let's get rid of these. I mean, it's 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 a PNG tube thing, so it's nothing super crazy. <laughs> but I like it for what it is. If I could ever do something more crazy like the uh, live 2D, I'll definitely give it a shot. But for now, I'm just gonna you know start slow, you know, crawl before I run. But definitely had fun doing it. Back out a bit. But yeah, I thought it'd be something cool to do. Because I've been thinking about doing it for a while. This a little thicker. Just your feet a bit, since they weren't initially made for this. Might get a. I mean, yeah, I mean, if I can. Like, I'll make the, uh. The wolf one. Because I wanted to do one of him. 
um, possibly Viro, and then, I don't know, probably one extra for the fun of it. But like I said, they're, they're simple. Nothing crazy complicated, but it would be fun to do. Because I think um, I think the this program also uses GIFs, too, that can be used for speaking avatars. So if I can make a GIF of something, I'll probably attempt to do that at some point. <laughs> Becky speaks. Yep. And I wanted to use Becky because she's, like, the most unique. But yeah, this is my, you know, return to Twitch, technically, since I did use it a long-ass time ago. <laughs> but, now I'm just, but now I'm trying to get back into using it. This time for art, because before I only used it to play... Um, Skullgirls. <laughs> Pretty bouncy. Yeah, because um, the different settings that they have for the program, um, I just wanted to make it subtle, so that way she wasn't, like, jumping around all the time. So, basically she just bounces anytime I speak. And I am hearing feedback. That might be just from the program that I'm using. Should be fine though, as long as I don't click on it. Okay, so bottom of her tab should be like that, so the rest should just go like this. If I hear myself again, I will attempt to fix that. Hold on, let me pause the music for a moment. Can I hear me? Echo. No? No hearing? Okay, I should be good then. Okay, I think I can, I think it's safe to close Discord now. Fair warning with Twitch's policy. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty aware of the nonsense. Okay, seriously, I am hearing myself, and I do not know why. Uh, trying to see what would be causing it. Do I have something open? Is that why? Uh, yes, yes I do. That's there we go. That was causing the problem. Okay. But yeah, um, I plan to use Twitch for just like you know, um, the safer work stuff, and then I was thinking like maybe Sundays. I would use Picardo for the risque stuff, so, you know, like, sexy Sundays. So that way, if I'm working on anything that's too graphic for Twitch or YouTube or whatever the case may be, then I'll use Picardo for that. There we go. Now let's tweak her feet a bit more. But yeah, I'm gonna try to stream more often, so I was thinking I'm gonna try to do three hours a day um, probably around the same time so probably at 12 again and just go from there and see how, I, how it goes and then maybe like Fridays I'll play like a game so probably either, either like you know whatever I have on Steam so I'll probably start off with Skullgirls since that's like a game I can just jump into and, have, and you know go to town with since I enjoy that game a lot so that would be the plan for now uh, 
Becky's bus <laughs> going up and down is pretty risque right now. I mean, it's not like it's animated or anything. It's just the model jumping up and down every time I talk. <laughs> so... And then there's also that uh, um, Smash in the Will of the Wisp game that ha that has um, jam in there, so can play that. You'll laugh if I get a 3D model. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that'd be funny. If I manage to somehow make a 3D model of Becky, that would be an achievement in of itself for me. Because I could probably do it, I just need the time. Like, I'm not a stranger to 3D modeling. I need to brush up heavily on it, though. This this one's a little bit too big. Like, I'll probably take the time to just, you know, look at tutorials and learn how to model. Because I haven't modeled since... 2000... 10? Yeah, 2010. So, thir going on 13 years now since I modeled anything. And even then, my models weren't like great, so <laughs> definitely need to brush up. Yeah, that's true. I could always commission it, but I don't know. I'm the, I'm the type that would feel more accomplished if I could do it myself. Like, I don't have a problem commissioning it, but I, I would like to learn. Because I think learning would be very useful. I'll probably, if I do try to tackle on modeling, I think, I think I'll use someone like Jam as a starter because again jam is like the simplest and also like it's like she's just difficult enough to 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 want to to want to use but she's also simple enough due to how she's designed so i think that's what i'll do let's simplify some of this there we go So yeah, I think Jam will likely be the first one I model, just to see how it goes. Oh yeah, I would definitely give her ears jiggle physics, or just get a commission. <laughs> yeah. jiggle all the things <laughs> we'll see we'll see how it goes like i mean obviously things like that are, are costly so maybe someday i have to work for i have to work for it if i want anything that special i gotta earn it but uh welcome to all the new followers <laughs> we have 13 so far Okay, so that should be enough for her legs. I'll turn everything else back on. And then we'll just course correct. Do do. Is there anything here? I probably don't need to select these, but I'm going to do it anyway. These are overlays at 70, but I want to keep them because of the color. There we go. And then, need the green as a base. There we go. And take you, and you. <laughs> 13 delinquents. No, that's impossible because this is Twitch. So, you know, this is the family-friendly version of my 
streams. Yeah, it is actually a boob window. It's just she has like a little avocado core thing on her chest. But uh, I made it like the shape of an of the avocado. So it just kind of looks like an eye. The, the gray parts is just because of the sweater. Because uh, all of the cream filled cats have like black in their outfits. Except for, I think, black cherry and white avocado. Or not white avocado, white pomegranate. <laughs> Becky is totally family friendly. Yeah, you know, just because, you know, you see her drinking on the job or passed out when she's working at in her store, you know, you know she she tries hard. <laughs> Got these. Turn this back on. Then we're gonna turn these on, but we're gonna change them. So I need their colors. Normal. All right. You. That is not what I wanted to delete. There we go. Oops, wrong button. Blue. Uh, let's see. Uh, wearing stuff not long enough to cover. I will allow this. <laughs> Question, does this 2D model show expressions like angries? I have not made them yet. This this is the this is the only mode she has at the moment is just stern cold stare. <laughs> I do want to give her an animation where, or um, a metal animation where she's blinking every once in a while, so I am gonna do that. But um, but I do want to give her like different poses and stuff like that, so she will have the coffee. But yeah, this was just something I made last night to see if I could I could even do it. So yeah. And even if Becky is wearing something that doesn't cover her butt, well, who are you to be looking at her butt? Yeah, I could, but I wanted to do something new. Like, uh, I could have just taken her old artwork and used that for the for the avatar, but I wanted to draw it um, from scratch. So I did. Uh, I was like, what are we doing? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm blurring this. Uh, 
that is 20,000. There we go. There we go. So here's Avocado's update with her new feet. If you're kind of flat butt, you. <laughs> Just because a woman has a butt to look at doesn't mean that it should be objectified. With that said, damn women have nice butts. Anyway, hi. So next... Well, first let's save this before I do anything stupid. Oh yes! We are creatures of habit, and looking at a good butt is one of those habits. There's nothing more we can do. We are lost to the butt. And then when we try to avoid the butt, we have the chest. We are doomed. We were doomed from the start. And let's save this out. I'm just going to save it over the original, because this is a better version anyway. Save. And I'll save the line art just to just that so we have two versions. Would you consider a voice mo modulation for certain characters? Um, if I could, yeah. Like I don't have a problem doing stuff like that. Like a lot of this is new, so I have to do my research and look into it. So yeah, if I could somehow get a voice thing to try to make me sound more like Becky or whoever, I'm definitely game to try. So let's just get her line art real quick. Uh, avocado two. Save. Alright, and I'll update her on other sites after the stream. So that way I'm not spending too much doing that. Save. Thanks for the follow, Blazing Fox. Thank you everyone who follows. This will be a experimental time. But I want to try to go hard on it and just, you know, take it as seriously as I can. Okay, so now that avocado's done, let's do something new. So I was thinking for this stream, at least, um, I just draw a character that one of you guys suggest. And I was thinking of um, Pokemon or Digimon or whatever. So, if there's a character I can try to go at, just let me know. Vote for Deer. Give her Dr. Mr. Mrs. Dr. Mrs. on the Monarch voice. Oh, good lord. It's, it's like what? You want her to, to sound like this? Have a smoker's voice like her mother? No, no. <clears throat> like her mother? I can do that. <laughs> Draw those paths. I mean, I'll draw nose paths. Let me just look them up. It's been a while since I've looked at nose paths. Ah, da da da, nose paths. Delete that. Like I like Nose Pass. His evolution is what is the part where I'm like, why? Here we 
remember this has to be a family friendly stream so I can't make it too lewd if I were to. So even though characters who do have chests and all that I'll have to keep it simple. So no 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 nips and all that jazz. Which honestly that's gonna be torture. Anyway, nose pass. That's how how are we gonna do him? Uh looking at all the reference. Pretty basic. Alright, I'm just gonna draw him doing stuff. Probably praising the sun or something. Uh, I will allow this. Draw the final four. <laughs> Hold on, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Impossible to not draw a loot. You don't have to draw a nose pad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I was actually going to do it too. Okay, if there's an actual character you want me to draw, let me know. I mean, I'll even draw one of mine. Like Be like um, Becky, Blake, M Marcy, whoever. I just can't draw them lewd, so... If it's someone like Kitsune, she's going to have to be either covered up or, you know, showing no nips and all that jazz. Or maybe I'll just avoid Kitsune altogether since she's always been a problem child. Becky in a Chinese dress or kimono. I mean, I can, but she'll just rip it. <laughs> sure. Let me just look up some reference for the outfit. Uh, I'm gonna grab Becky first. Becky, and now for the dress. Guess I don't need this screen up here. I can move that down there. That's why you get super stretchy fabric. <laughs> there was a point where um, I almost made um, Becky Hispanic. But then I decided not to. Wanted to make her more dreary. Okay, dresses. What color would work, work, work for her? I think red might work to match her hair. I can try this one. Red and gold. Yeah, that, that might work. Alright, start working on Becky. So let's see. probably give her like a scowl that she's even in the outfit. If there's time afterwards, I wouldn't mind seeing a fat blood arch. Uh, I should be able to draw her fat. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. Probably give Becky red eyeshadow. Yeah, she is gonna judge you. She's gonna judge you every, t every for every second that this goes on. 
And me being her avatar isn't helping either. Just like, grr. <laughs> hey, we're at 15 followers. Yay. <laughs> Now the patterns on the dress is the part that's going to be a pain in the ass. So it just depends on how I go about it. Let's see. I should... Well, first let me save the dress so that way it'll be easier to use. Let's see, what kind of hair? Let's do... Cause she has long hair, so let's try something a little simple. Hairstyle. Uh, Okay, this isn't bad. I can try that. Uh, let's see. Japanese themed oh, spa. Another outfit I would suggest was the Morticia Adams dress. Would you be mad if she happens to look you? <laughs> Yeah, she would look mad. <laughs> you also have to remember that she comes from a history of not being seen as attractive. Or just, you know, made fun in her in her youth. So she's not exactly in the mindset of looking nice. Okay, so let's see, let's do her hair like this. Yeah, she's still gonna have bags under her eyes though. Give her a little bit of blush. And I'll color that in later. You find her exotic. <laughs> Let's see. I'll do the rest of her hair a little bit later, but I want to get the initial parts of it. Because I gotta do her ears too. for now. Uh, a little bit more flowy here. Well, that's good. I'm glad you like her. She is a bit of a misfit due to her bullshittery. Alright, so let's see.
Also, if I ever do turn her into like a VTuber model, I'm gonna have to get me a camera, because I do not possess a camera for my computer. So that'll be something to save up for. <laughs> well, because I never needed a camera. And even if I did have one, I'd likely keep it unplugged for a long time. Or find some means of disabling it. And if I were ever to, you know, show show myself on camera, I would likely be in costume. So I'd probably use my, either my SCP head or the, um, the skull made. Which would be fun, I wouldn't have a problem doing any of that. Do... Hello. Oh yeah, she would definitely give Pax a death stare for complimenting her. She just doesn't view herself in that fashion. Uh, let's make this a little bit wider. Nah, actually, it's, it's fine the way it was. Okay, so rest of her. Let me get her outfit first. I can look at her hair later. also have to mean that parts of her dress are open in the back so her wings can be out although she probably restrict them too so she probably wouldn't let them out too either or she has like some muscle on her arms too because she's got some tiger traits around there Yeah. Can always just be like one tailored to her. Good. Oh yeah, I should probably be looking at the version of her without her clothes on. There we go. That way, I can make sure I know where everything is. Because I have the reference on the side.
bigger hands. Make her fingers a little bit thicker to accommodate for them being a tiger. Maybe I'll have her tugging at the dress on the side a bit, complaining that it's a little too tight. Tiger stripes. Actually, that one might be a little bit too thick over there. All right. So yeah, I hope everyone's doing all right. Running like hell yesterday. At least over here it was. the part where she'll be she'll well one of the reasons she'll be complaining because she's busty on making the outfit look more fancy. <laughs> We're that much closer to I have visual novel. Yeah, I want to try to do something like that. Um for like YouTube just have like a visual novel type of style to go with it so you know like characters on the sides with dialogue happening on the bottom and it just be like text sounds and stuff like that I would like to do that hello doom um the biblical jam I think will be the one the drawing that I work on on Sunday so we can get that finished up cuz i haven't i haven't touched it since the last time i showed it off 
So I think that's what we'll do for Sunday. Oh, you're working on Octavia? That's good. Let's actually curve this a little bit more. But yeah, there's quite a number of things I want to try out to do, try to do this year. Done with her just shading her hair. And hat. That's cool. Yeah, I need to do more fan art. I'll be doing that more often too. Let's just make the outfit a little bit really restricting. So that way she's like almost self-conscious and doesn't want to move. <laughs> but she might break it or tear it. She's like, why on earth would you put me in this? Well, of course she's self-conscious. She, she was teased as the ugly duckling when she was a child, so she's very self-aware of her appearance. Let's see. Let's get another song going. Let's do this one. Yeah, um, it'll be interesting to see how, um, where things go if I stream more often. Um, let's see. <laughs> yeah, if they ripped us the right way, they probably would expose a lot. Dare summon me. Just letting them know what I'm doing. It's always when I'm doing something important, that's when people want my attention. It's like you had all day. Maybe not today specifically, but a big chunk of my day was already planned out. Anyway. Okay, so that part covered. 
And it looks like it just goes around the side. If there is more to it, it probably closes up in the back. Okay, now for her gigantic thighs. Welcome to the Big Butt Crew. N members still growing. Then I'll touch up the dress more once I get all of her situated. Thank you for the follow. Cor is it Corgi Buns? Or Korg Buns? There's like the buns as in the name, anyway. <laughs> Giant thighs save lives. <laughs> oh, yes. Everything can all the thick can be appreciated. Anyway, let's see. I always start in the middle, and it's always too low. There we go. Can stop doing that. That might be the next club I start drawing. <laughs> this big butt club. If I do anything extra, I'm going to have to put it in a higher tier. Because I do want to get back into doing short GIF animations again. Because I only made two so far. And I think I could get I could do them pretty easily nowadays. And then slowly get more detailed with them. Because it just boils down to time. And I would love to work on the current pages of comics, but right now they're still a little lewd. Maybe not I hats necessarily, but Black Circuses is definitely on the lewd end. Okay, now this is where we get weird because Becky does have a lower pair of boobs. And wearing a tight dress. Uh, well, actually, looking at it, it would be flowing a bit. So it could probably cover up some of it. So let me just get her initial figure. Question is, would she be standing straight? Probably would, because of her the way her legs are structured. So let's curve this a bit here. So this would be her butt. Then her thigh would be over here. And then we'll just all this in the necessary spots. Might change her arm to be more expressive. Uh, 
can hear her saying. <laughs> oh yeah, she's still pissy about the the photos that she had to take. I need to draw her sister's artwork sometime. Maybe that'll be something I do on a stream. Yeah, maybe for like stuff like character art and things like that. I'll um, do those on stream. <laughs> That'll definitely be fun for cranking through the adopts that I have that don't have um, artwork done by me. So yeah, I plan on going till about 3 o'clock and then call it and then the rest of the day I'll be working on like comics or um, Patreon stuff that I can't show on stream. So if any of you want to see that who aren't part of Patreon and all that, that's where all that stuff will be. All the risque, sexy stuff. Are you late? Nope. You still got two hours. <laughs> we got 16 followers so far. We're, we're working on it. <laughs> 16 followers, 7 viewers. Yay. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't... I don't expect anything to happen right away. Definitely, honey, your thigh isn't to be bigger than this. Because she's going to be wearing a dress, so some of this is going to get covered anyway. And, like, her thigh would probably be, like, right there. Because she's thick. To her dismay. We ain't stuck here with Viro. Viro's stuck here with us for two hours. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I would say it's both ways. We're stuck with each other. <laughs> it's like, I got you for two hours. Worth it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Thick thighs are worth it. Okay, so we got that much. Ah, Becky's legs. Her legs are like leg legs. I just realized her tail is gonna have to have a <laughs> opening in order to come out. Because of her fat gator tail. And I do not like how I did her ass. So we're going to work on that. Can't be too big though. Because then we just have jam size butt. That. You know what? It's easier if I just do it this way. I feel better. And then just erase all the parts I don't need. Becky's probably gotten bigger since I've drawn her the last few times. She'll probably kill me if she was ever in real life. She'd be like, God damn it. 
<laughs> that's the Thibel. <laughs> the Thibel. Uh, that's a good one. If I ever get to do emotes or something like that, I'll make something called the Thibel. <laughs> That'd be great. And so as the book was written... <laughs> Thick thighs save lives. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh great, I need to do something with that. <laughs> Get all my thicker characters together and have someone just present them, present them with the with the Thibble. <laughs> And they all just get a little peeved over it. It's like, oh my god, really? Ah, <laughs> uh, that'd be funny. Becky just takes the Thibel and chucks it back at them. Ah, <laughs> uh, that'd be funny. Definitely gotta do that at some point. Shrink that down a little bit. Can see Plum as a nun of the Thibel. <laughs> oh, that'd be yeah. Plum would definitely be in on all that. Craving the idea of Dark Magician Girl Kiwi. <laughs> that'd be fun. Should just do an art set of just like random costumes for characters. So have like nun or um, spellcaster Kiwi. Or just flat out dressed out as Dark Magician Girl. But Kiwi got no boobs, so <laughs> that would be a very flat outfit. She'll still have the star symbol, though. So I'll do it. Probably need to angle her legs a little bit more. So that way they fit the pose. So yeah, so her legs probably gonna have to go right right here. So that way when her butt goes this way. God, so many words I have to allow. <laughs> Mention gaming, but thoughts on movie streams? Uh, if I do, do do like a movie stream or something, it'll probably be like a stream that I'll have to delete afterwards, of course. But um, I'll have to research that to see how people tackle that. Because I know some people just, you know crop the screen and just show the, the the time or the text or something. So that'll probably be something I work up towards. Hello, Black Baron. I'm doing all right. Slutting on costume, holding the Thibel in one hand and holding a writing crop in the other. That'd be funny. Uh, yeah, it was, I mostly just showed uh, Common Rider. And a fairy tale one. Uh, God, I have no idea what I might have shown. I just remember Common Rider and, um, and uh, what was it called? Ghost Stories. And I think I showed a uh, cool world at one point. Do kind of miss the film or Kamen Rider episode. Yeah. Like, 
if I do do those streams, it'll probably be on Picardo, since Picardo is just like whatever. And all that stuff gets, you know, removed eventually. Or, you know, I can just remove it myself. If I do do it on Twitch, I'll have to research it. And I'll probably just have it, like, a small part of the stream while I'm, like, drawing. So that way it doesn't cause too many issues. So yeah, it'll be something I'll have to look into just to make sure I do it right. Oh, about what gets in Kitsune? I did not see your question. Uh, let me check. Uh, no, I did not see it. But, uh, feel free to ask it. I don't know if you asked it here or if you asked it on, um, in, like, the Ask the Cast or something. Oh yeah, Black Dynamite, that was fun. <laughs> it was like a quest with a fairy tale stuff. Uh, I, I honestly do not remember. Will you ever work on World Gates or Kitsune? Oh yeah, 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 I definitely will. I definitely plan on doing that, doing um, World Gates this year, because this year is World Gates's. Um, 20th anniversary so I do plan on doing stuff for that it will be done yeah I do need to draw Kitsune and Fox Claw doing stuff. I've probably gotten a lot better at drawing the risque scenes with of them since then. So yeah, I definitely need to... Because I want to... Because there's a lot I'm going to do. Because there's stuff that I'm going to do with the comics. Because I'm going to be... Rebooting it for the final time. Because so much has changed since um, I Hat became a thing. And Creamfield became a thing in Black Circus. And um, I'm debating on if I'm going to follow the timeline in chronological order or if I just want to start off in the with um, Violetin, where the same comics where Kitsune and Foxlaw showed up in and all that. So debating on if I'm going to start with that or if I'm going to go by chronological order. Because it technically doesn't have to be in chronological order, but I think it would be more rewarding if I did it that way. Allow and allow. Uh, let's see. What am, I, what am I missing? <laughs> I would love more not safe work scenes with him. Oh, yeah, that will definitely happen. Natsu, Natsu. More costume idea. Oh yeah, yeah. Just go through the shonen, the shonen outfits for characters. That would be fun. Yeah, I'll have to do an art set like that. Oh yeah, the art set with uh, pineapple was almost over. That will be ending after Friday. There we go. So if you haven't gotten her art set yet, now would be the time. Well, between now and Friday. And at the moment, I don't plan on re reposting those pictures for the the collections. But since I'm doing it in a different way than I used to with the auctioning stuff, um, I there might be a time where I like bring them back for like a special occasion. So that'll probably be the case, actually, 
now that I'm thinking about it, because of this year specifically, because of the 20th anniversary. So probably on Halloween, they will come back for a limited time, because Halloween was ironically when I worked on World Gates, and I guess I didn't realize it was Halloween that year. <laughs> Or Halloween was just like whatever that year. There we go. And that seems a little too low. Seventeen followers. Woo. But yeah, for Friday, I want to try doing like a gaming day. So it will be between Skullgirls and Smash and the Will of the Wisp. Leaning more towards Smash just because it has um, Blueberry Jam in it. And I haven't like really played the... Like, like I played the demo all the way through. But I haven't played the full game at all with, with her. So that will be fun to do. To just go from start to, or start to wherever. Yeah, like, I'm always going to play as Jam. Uh, does this creature have a tail? Yes, yes she does. Um, I can bring her standard art. Let me save this first. Save. And I will just call this Becky Dress for now. Because I can show her normal art. I just can't show her naked. Characters, Becky. I'll do it like this. Let me just check the stream. Okay, you can see it. So yeah, this is what she looks like normally. But yeah, if, if I play Smash, I'm always gonna play as a uh, Jam. Cause she my baby. That was fun though, getting um, her to be in the game. That was a fun little moment. Did her in the same. Well, I'm looking at reference for one. <laughs> not ex and it's not entirely the same. There's there's a there's a few differences here and there, <laughs> but. but uh, Definitely made her legs fatter, or her feet fatter than they were. They look a little shorter too, so let's make this longer. Because now that I have it side by side rather than on another screen. So there's that, and then I'll move that one over. Look at this abomination. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, she'd kill me if I was actually serious on calling her that. There we go. She'd probably still hit me if I just for saying it. Uh, you should seek more opportunities to get your characters out there. Crossover collabs, commissions. Yeah. There's a number of things I that I want to do this year. That's that's why I'm trying to push harder on myself to not only get more done comic wise, but just like do more artwork, um, do more streams. Trying to really step up this year. 
Especially since this year's the 20th anniversary of World Games. It's like, Jesus, I need to do more. And I need to work on my card game more, too. So maybe that'll be something I do during a stream. Uh, maybe not the card itself, like, you know, adding in the text and all that nonsense. But probably just the card art. Because I don't think anybody wants to sit there and watch me debate on how broken I'm going to make a card. Or how basic bitch of I make a card. It's like, what? This card is 15 points and it only does this? Yeah, nobody needs to see that. <laughs> but I will work on trying to make the stream look nicer over time. Yeah, I need to promote more. Like, I need to promote the comics more, which I'm slowly doing, because I was doing that a little bit last year with iHat. But then that kind of fell off a little bit. Um, I think... I think next week I'm going to start posting iHat. But I, I kind of want to wait until I get Black Circus closer to where iHat's number is. Or at least page 6. But uh, we'll see. We'll see where my mind goes. Because I just want like a significant amount of pages before I start posting, so... Either next week or the week after, because I want to get... I had to, like, page 10 before I start posting publicly. And it'll only be, like, a page a week for now. Because I don't think two pages a week would warrant it at the moment. Because different parts of Becky is has different fur lengths, and then some parts of her feathers. So maintaining her fur, whatever you want to call it at this point, is a bit of a chore. There you go. And she has squirrel hair too, so that's a another issue. I concur, the work you put out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Revolvo Re Revolvio. Yeah. Like, I acknowledge that I do quite a bit. It just, to me, it doesn't feel like I've done enough. So, it might just be something that's in my head. Which is another thing I need to do. I need to get out of my own head a lot more often. Be content with whatever I'm able to put out within the year. Yes, she has squirrel hair. <laughs> Becky is like 14 different animals. It's either 14 or 17, I forgot. I want to say 14. 14 sounds more balanced. Air, air quotes balanced. Is she part bunny? No. No, she is not part rabbit. <laughs> if I remember correctly... Well, you know what? I don't even have to remember. I'm just going to bring up her bio on the side over here. Uh, Becky, Becky, Becky. So this is why we write shit down. Let's see. Becky is wolf, squirrel, raccoon, hawk, duck, shark, giraffe, bovine, goat, mantis, tiger, alligator, kangaroo, and horse. And she is six foot four. <laughs> Didn't really need to say her height, but I did anyway. Uh, no, she is not a chimera. She is, is just her mom just really had a good time with a rock with, with a rock band and somehow ended up with Becky by some strange miracle. 
So Becky is a walking cesspool of debauchery. Nope, the tail is alligator. She has mantis wings though, but she can't fly with them because she's too heavy for that. Because she has traits where one part of her is nocturnal and the other part is, you know, a, just stays in the, in, or, you know, wakes up normally, she has a messed up um, sleeping pattern, which is why she has bags under her eyes. Yeah, she just has little wings, they don't do anything. Yeah, like, see, over here. Little mantis wings. Not much she can do with them. He said, uh, imagine me being taken from the first. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that would be messed up to think about. Actually, I do not like the way I did those lines. Let's do it this way. segment them. Uh, oh, the wings, yeah. <laughs> so her years of... Oh yeah, she, she has many years of the blank. <laughs> but she's not a zodiac, so... Or like a zodiac creature. Which would be interesting. How can a creature like this be even born? Uh, the best way to put it is just think of it as like conjoined twins, but it just ended up as like a single entity. It's like the best way I can put it of explaining it. So like imagine if like 14 or so or how much? Let me check. Let me count. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, so imagine is uh, so imagine like fourteen babies, but they all just got fused together. It's like the best way of putting it. It's like, like what are you? Yes. <laughs> Do you think those wings flicker around when she gets excited? Yeah, her wings like she can move her wings and stuff. They just don't aid her in any way. They're literally useless. Oh yeah, I was gonna do this. Babies in a bladder. Uh, Becky is a dish. When you ask on everything, menu. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, she's a genetic smoothie. The orgy scene in a sausage party, but with animals. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. She is whatever. <laughs> she is everything. And she like has issues with her mom and stuff like that. 
because she thinks her mom was extremely irresponsible. Which she was, to a degree. Fix your tail. Then we'll go on to doing the rest of the dress. Do -do. Yay, 18 followers! We're moving up in the world. <laughs> if Becky was name was a was a Creamfield girl, it would be Buffet. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. If the Creamfield cast was named after like junk food, then Rainbow Passion's name would probably be Buffet. That would probably make the most sense. But since all of them are named after fruits, or fruit-based things, um, Rainbow Passion is the name, because of passion fruit. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> I wonder if she is. Yeah, she can't have kids. It's, her genes are too warped for that. 18 people. Nine, well, now we got 19 people. 19 people People heard the good word of the Bible. <laughs> I should just do that. At some point, I'm going to make a Bible. I'm just going to do that. I'll just make like an image of it. Hell, fuck it. I'll make it a card. I'll make like several versions of the Bible depending on which characters get get added to the game or get drawn or whatever. So that way it's like, oh, the first verse of the Bible and it allows you to get like Becky um blueberry jam and any other thick th thick thigh character. <laughs> Becky dislikes kids because of how she grew up. And let's fix this. Because unfortunately she was teased quite often growing up. And then not only that, her genes have like a whole bunch of issues that made growing up even harder. Because for example, she 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 lactates every 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 few days so she has to get herself milked so you can imagine that being an issue being in school uh, i don't like the way i did that probably make more on the side but that's okay Even though you probably wouldn't naturally see these, I'm just going to put them there for the hell of it. Yeah, she lactates, she lays eggs. Well, the eggs part would, would be normal because she's both bird and reptilian. And that's like a thing in her world. So that that part is normal, but everything else is just off cent off centered. The King James version of the Bible. <laughs> Bible for magician. If I did make it the Bible as a card, I would probably put like a verse at the end of like after the effects of the card were said or something like that. I'll probably just put like a verse of something. Just for the hell of it. That'd be fun.
Thibble, brought to you by <laughs> the Bibble. <laughs> Real question is, how would it taste? Like regular bird eggs or Italian eggs or a bizarre mix? I have no idea, because I have only had chicken eggs and I guess fish eggs. Um, no idea how... I have no idea what reptile eggs taste like, so that's up in the air. So yeah, good question. What were her eggs taste like? Yes, you have. We have we have the Thibble, the Broble, and the Bibble. <laughs> the Trinity. I refuse to eat ducks because I like ducks. So, which would also mean I would not eat duck eggs. Intentionally. Becky wouldn't give a shit though. She'd eat whatever eggs she feels like eating. She'd be like, "Bitch, give me that." Okay, so her dress would probably come down here. Uh, I'm gonna have it kind of tighten up on her butt. and then come downwards. So yeah, most of this work that we spent trying to figure this out, I'm probably going to retcon in a moment. Not going to have the dress go super far down. And this happens. Like there'll be a lot of times where I'm drawing like a shit ton of details on something only for it to not matter. But that's the price of me not using construction lines to draw. Cause I can't feel as weird. Finally I have them all. <laughs> Well, that's nice. That's cool to have a farm. Um, there are creatures like Becky, but not to the degree that she is. Like, I would say at most, you'd probably get like f a four animal combination, and that includes like human characters too but nothing like her situation. And let me let's go here. Let's go there. Uh, she normally have her other breasts here, but that's not going to matter in this situation. And this is just cuz she has a bit of a bit of a belly, but not much. But yeah, like, the, the, her main, one of her main problems is, like, she lives in a world where characters have, like, different amalgamation of body parts and stuff like that from various animals because of how the gene pool works in her world. But she ends up looking like the, you know, the freak because she's so many put together. And so she just has a deep disdain for, for people in general. She just does not like to be around people. Uh, we can curve this a bit, so keep some of this. And it's harsh, because, you know... Um, I can't draw her naked on Twitch. <laughs> I can draw her naked elsewhere. And to a degree, I can do that on um, YouTube. I just can't go further than that. I think on Twitch I can actually draw her naked because it just says don't put the characters in sexual situations and all that so technically I can but I'm not gonna risk it 
Yeah, yeah, I use Picardo. I'm gonna probably do the adult stuff on that. Yay, 20 followers, we did it! <laughs> Set another goal. Aim for 30. Uh, for this one, I'm just gonna put four to thick thighs. <laughs> That'll be our next goal. Reach reach goal thirty. We gotta do it for the thighs. Luckily, I like mo most at most assets and attributes, so everything works for me. But yeah, like I have a Picardo which I'll use on um on Sunday for the risque streams. And if not, then maybe on like midnight of like certain days or something, I'll do that. I need to fix her boob. Her boob's still not right from my perspective. And let's. Okay, making sure that's working. I have thousands of followers. Yeah, I'll get there. <laughs> Gotta work my way there on a. Uh, multiple platforms because like i have a lot of followers on demon art and probably fur infinity actually speaking of which let's find out actually i don't even know uh let's see i have four thousand and seven on fur infinity that's not too bad uh, stats. Let's see. Oh, I should have just looked at that. Favorites, watches. Let me go back. So on Ink Bunny, I have, as soon as this loads. Come on. Come on. There we go. So on uh, Fur Infinity or Ink Bunny, I have two thousand four hundred and seventy-five, according to this, if I'm reading that right. And on Deviant Art, I have why is it tripping out? Ah, here we go. I have almost 10,000 on DeviantArt. So I, have a, so I have a decent number. Now I just need to work hard so that translates to other means. Because if I can even get like a, a nice chunk of that for like Patreon or um, Subscribestar or, or even just, you know getting an art set every once in a while that would help out a lot so I just gotta keep up the grind work harder uh, my my ink bunny should be in the the I think it's the description below the stream let me check da -da. this it is in yeah it's um right right in the about section of my stream there should be an ink bunny um, link but just in case I'll grab it normally do do let's put it here Such a hard worker already. <laughs> I don't, it, it always just feels like I haven't done enough. Like. Ink play sounds like a species. I mean, it, it kind of does, huh? <laughs> okay, 
let me fix your arm because I want you to tug on your dress a bit. It, but yeah, I'm just in the mindset that I haven't done enough, even though I've done a lot. So that's going to be another thing that I'm going to have to try to wean myself off of. i got to stop thinking that I'm not doing, a, doing enough. Here we go, let's fix that. double-checking to make sure I don't have something weird going on okay okay so how would she pinch her Anatomy. Let me just do it in this way. It was the ink bunnies that wrote the first Bible. <laughs> I just do that. I just make characters that actually worship something called the Bible. And maybe just and maybe have like a few female characters that kind of take advantage of that. Like they arrive in some weird village. And the village practices the Fible. And they're just like, what the hell? <laughs> but it's like, well, if they want to and they like it, where, where, who, who are we to stop them? For shortening, why? Just ah. Realistically, I think the shoulder would take prim the primary. Yeah. Because it'd be more like this. And then her arm would be going backwards. Or back, further back. So let me just touch this up. Bigger. She's got 
she got big thick thick hands there we go <laughs> now that I think about it <laughs> I think Becky would be fucking murder on AI if anyone tried to do AI art of her. That would just be like, what the fuck are we even looking at? I would love to see that happen. Just to see what, it, what we would try to come up with. It probably isn't that complicated, but it would be fun to see. Because he'll probably just try to follow whatever fucking logic. <laughs> right? It just makes her look like a duck. <laughs> That's it. It just it just says impossible. I don't know if that would piss her off or amuse her. Uh, even a machine will be like, I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. <laughs> Different variants, yeah. Be funny if it just gave you like different versions of her, but they're all like different animals that she is based on. So you never get like her. And then when 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 it's like done right, it just thinks it did it wrong. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, I messed up the the, the drawing, and it's like, but. But you did it right. And like, nah, nah, it's wrong. But yeah, I would laugh if it just somehow self destructed. Speaking of which, that was a thing I got where, um, on DeviantArt, um, I kept getting, a. Uh, you know how they recommend they like show off like oh here's this new artist um um uh, comment on their artwork and stuff like that and i get that and i keep getting ones where it's like ai art and i'm like i don't i don't know what to tell them because it's like you know they didn't draw they didn't draw the artwork so i have like i can't give them any tips all i can say like i didn't like i didn't like answer or anything but it was just kind of like what do i even say um you know, make sure you write the prompts better or something. Like, I don't know. It was just one of those situations where it was like, uh, they should probably make it so that if somebody's using AI primarily, then they shouldn't be recommended to you because there's like nothing you can encourage them to do. Question Shouldn't there be a bulge for her tits showing? Yeah, for the lower half. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about where to place it because it's like, I'm trying not to make it look too off but yeah i think i'm just going to do it normally so yeah right about here should do it probably being squished by her thighs and then because the dress is so tight on her it'll probably be a bit of a curve basically just similar to her chest and are a little bit bigger than that. But yeah, I'm not gonna put too much emphasis on them right now. I'll probably do that when I go to the coloring or the shading and all that. So got that. Do this.
But yeah, it was just an interesting situation where it's like, I don't know what I could possibly tell somebody who only uses AI art. Because I can't, there's like no tips. I would love to, t to tell them, like, you know, keep, keep drawing or, you know, if they're working on a comic, just, you know, make sure you're consistent with your character designs and stuff like that, but there's nothing I can say in that situation. All I can really hope is that hopefully they get encouraged to draw for themselves. And, you know, see where life takes them. Put like another button right there. Should probably have one on behind her. a little bit more form-fitting. Nah. I think it's fine. For her specifically, she's gonna have to need it. Need the open space. Spitting facts and logic. Because, <laughs> like, again, I don't have any problem with AI art as a tool. But if it's, like, your primary... If you're just gonna, like cherry pick a, a result and use that as your final I mean sure go ahead but you're not gonna really gain anything out of it and I'm sure there are people who are like willing to pay for like just any random art that they can get it was like oh fat cow or hey can you get Judy from um, Zootopia which there's like enough information of her on her to do that for AI, but even then, it's just kind of like okay. So I think honestly, it's just going to be like you know, if, if people are specialists at this point, like you know, they make specific comics or specific type of artwork, or like yeah, they can draw like Judy from Zootopia, but they can do it in a particular way and all that. Then, you know, more power to them because it's they're just going to go up in the, in the ladder at that point. But if people are using AI art just as the finals and like the final versions of the artwork and stuff like that, I honestly think they are robbing themselves of a of a better experience. And let's thin this out. And I don't mean like when they say like robbing themselves of a better experience, I don't mean like oh they can just go find somebody, um, they can they can commission. What I mean is like if they were interested in art, I think it would be better for them to actually do it themselves. And yeah, it might take time, and you know they might think that they're not good at it, but that's like the point. You're supposed to go through all that and feel challenged. And like if if like if I were to show somebody like um. Um, um, Bob Ross, like you could see from from the start, from how he draws or how he paints, that it starts off as something really, really, really simple, and it eventually becomes something really complicated and beautiful because it's like you see the 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 time and choices that he put into the artwork, so this looks really good, even though even though he did something really simple. So. I don't know. I think that's just something that people will have to figure out for themselves. I've never had a time been in a position to invest in learning art, so AI is maybe. And like, there's nothing wrong with using AI art as a, like again, there's nothing wrong with using it as a tool. Because it can help you like figure out like a uh, like a pose or something that you couldn't just quite figure out in your head or you can use it as a base and move on from there and you know touch it up the way you would um honestly if there's ever a point where you're like just sitting around chilling or like you know spending an hour or so just doing something that's just like a free time thing um try doing art 
even if it's like something really basic because because the best part about art is like all you can do is get better over time because the more time you put into it and the more effort you put into it the better you get and the limit for art is infinite because it's so subjective that you can you know basically do whatever but it just boils down to, t to you know putting in some time but yeah like if you're just using it to like you know try to get something out of your head then that's also a plus because you can at least see like a rough version of something you you had in mind okay so let's try this part I like to, but I don't even have a pen and paper. Long story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you have more important things than, that you need to focus on, then I totally agree. You know, do what you gotta do first. Anything else that's considered a luxury, then, you know, do that when you have the time and, and ability to. Like, definitely focus on what's important first. And luckily, art will always be there. It won't, like, disappear because trends or whatever. Or, like, somehow some sort of resource vanishes. Like, art disappearing doesn't even seem like a feasible thing to actually happen. I don't even know how that'd be possible. Because even if you erase somebody's mind, they're still going to do something creative. Yeah, unfortunately, time is bolt is finite. Well, indiv an individual's time is potentially finite. Because you know, if we figure out, I'll live forever. And hell yeah, <laughs> if I ever find a fountain in you, I'm like, yep, I'm doing this. Live forever, so I can draw forever. I would not have any problems doing that. It's like, why would you want to live forever? I'm like, art. It's like, yeah, but that's just drawing. Like, dude, I can draw the biggest hits and the fattest of asses. It'd be worth it. We're not even just a fountain of youth, it's just immortality in general. That's probably what would just keep me going. Just the love of art and whatever risque thing I can do. It just keep me forever, forever. Or keep me alive forever. Forever's a lot longer than I think I know. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine dealing with forever. <laughs> you don't have enough screen to draw that much TNA. <laughs> Uh, you'd be surprised what I'm willing to put myself through for art. It's like, what, time? Forever? Okay, done. If, if it happens, I'll definitely let people know. It's like, I'll just be like, so somehow I managed to live forever? <laughs> it's like, wait, how old are you? Uh, when did the robot invasion happen?
And then they'd be like, "That's incredible." It's like, "Nah, not as incredible as the mermaid women that came that came to to land." That was a good time. And they're like, "Wait, what?" And like, "Yeah, that was like what, a few thousand years ago." It's a shame that didn't stick. That didn't stick. That would've been cool. <laughs> Say hi to Bender. <laughs> I know, right? Like, which robot invasion? <laughs> if we're going off of near automata rules, I'd be like, eh, probably after the fourteenth one. <laughs> Probably invest in cloning, just so I have more people to dr more of me to draw to draw with. We just make our own fucking business with like a with a huge ass um, comic industry, just solely focused on my own shit. That'd be great. Just gotta hope that none of my clones attempt to kill me for some stupid ass reason. It's like, but which one of us the real one? Like, who gives a shit? We can draw everything now. Go for it, do it. As long as you as you enjoy it, that's all that matters. Probably go up to somebody who's like, hey, what happened to the big booty robots that we had? <laughs> to the robot women? The big booty ones? They're like, what? And like, ah, oh, like, did we seriously get past that one? Damn it, that was a good one to keep. We gotta do that again. You fix your head a bit. Like that one game. Ah, what was it called? Ah, I need to look into that. What was it? Haiti. There we go. Yeah, that shit was great. You'd be a millionaire if you invest in NFTs now. Nah. Not worth it. <laughs> Honestly, NF NFTs are just more complicated trading cards. That's all they are. It's the same thing for um, stock marketing. is just more complicated trading cards. If anything, I'd be better off just making my shit now, and then if I gained the ability to live forever, I could just keep pumping that shit out, and so all of my earlier stuff would be worth more. Assuming that even happens. One does world case, dream fill. Yeah, I just have all my clones working on each shit. Oh yeah, I'd be like, yeah, remember the summer of 2043? And like, wait, how old are you? Like, this is the year 5087. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be like 5087, and eh, it's not as good as 4087. Now they they knew their shit. Although death by snoo snoo was not was was not foretold in their future. straight down actually probably be more like this say hi to Javi seller hand yeah that'd be fun See all the death machines. All right, you take care. Have a good night. I believe it's night over there. Yeah, have a good night. Do, do, do.
And if I don't finish this now, I can finish... I can work on it more on the next stream. Tomorrow. Because I'm going to try to stream each day at about this time. Or 12 o'clock um, Pacific time. 12 p.m. Pacific time. That's the goal for for now. And if I want to adjust it, I'll try to make a announcement about that. Cyberpunk Becky. Yeah, Fat Blood Orange. Yeah, if I have the... Yeah, because, like... I guess it just depends on if I decide if I want to color these. Because they could always just be, you know, stream picks. Where it's just the line art. Like, I don't have a problem doing that. Maybe I should do it that way. Just keep it simple for now. And when I'm able to stream, like, a lot longer, then we can do, like, full color stuff. Or, you know, just color it another time. Whatever comes first. Small tuff of hair that covers Becky's for. Oh, no, I intentionally did that. Because um, I'm looking at a hairstyle for the outfit. So I'm trying to match it with that. I could probably have, like, a little dangly thread to kind of connect it a bit. So kind of something like this, maybe. Now I'll probably just get rid of these so that way here. Hair is more prominent. Yeah, that looks nicer. Cyber psychosis. <laughs> Cyber bitch goes. <laughs> well, they do have cybernetics in her world. They're just stupid expensive. And honestly, in her case, she probably wouldn't even bother with cybernetics because God knows her body would freak the fuck out. Like, part of it would probably accept it, other parts would probably reject it, other parts probably wouldn't even know how to function because they're different species. So yeah, that would probably be a bad decision if she ever decided to try to do that. And sticking up her forearm a bit. Her... Anime anymore. Just thicken up that thumb. She does have hand beans, though. She probably just actively avoids letting anybody know she plays with her hand beans. Which cat characters probably do that all the time. They probably just squish their, their faces with their hand beans. Oh yeah, we got more followers. Yay. We're at 23 out of 30. Does she have soft puffy horse beans too? Probably yes. I know I've shown the bottom of her feet. I just haven't thought about it. <laughs> So I would say yes. Yes, huzzah! <laughs> uh, bio mods do exist in Cyberpunk Exotics. Yeah, I know a little bit about Cyberpunk. I need to watch the anime, it looked fun. Yeah, 
Yeah, in um in her world getting cybernetics is called modding, so you're basically modifying yourself. But they're like expensive but some characters kinda do it while putting themselves in debt. Kinda like um uh the genetic opera or uh repo man. Uh there's a thing with bronies where bronies have sense. Oh, I did not know that was a thing for for the brony stuff, which is interesting because I know a lot of brony stuff, so yeah, I haven't heard of that one. Good to know. So I can gain more ammo and use it for my evil dark powers, because I am practicing the dark arts right now by drawing whatever I want, whenever I want. Why everyone? I don't know. <laughs> okay, did that, did that. Let's curve that a little bit. Uh, anything else? Well, I mean, I definitely want to put a, like a design on her, but I want to do it in the texture way. But I won't have enough time for that. So maybe I'll save that for another stream. So let me just finish what I have here and then we'll work on Blood Orange for a bit. Do -do -do. So yeah, here is Becky for now. I think I'm going to do more to it when I get the chance. I think I'm going to change her tail though, her tail looks too skinny. Probably just going to make it bigger through transformation rather than redrawing it. Or if I do mess with it, I'll just make adjustments. So let's see. So do that. Do a bit of that. I'll have to fix the spot where her tail is over there. Actually, I think it's fine there. Let me just clean up. Uh, Centaur Becky. Oh yeah, Team Thicktails. Freaking Arknights, heck yeah. Team Thicktails. I freaking love that game. Maybe I'll stream myself playing that sometime. Although I don't know how long it would last. Because, you know, stamina and all that. I just have to make sure, like, my information for that game doesn't get put out. So I'll have to figure that part out. So, I'll, I'll try to pay attention from from um, other v YouTubers and all that. Tales from Sonic. <laughs> you think of, of MILF Tales. I still laugh when people trip out over like, oh my god, why are you guys drawing all this stuff? Or whatever. I'm like, have you watched cartoons? This is literally where we get it from. Especially Totally Spies. <laughs> totally Spies was just fetish the cartoon. Here we go. And 
speaking of thick tails, Tomimi had a huge, huge tail in, in Dark Knights. Her, her tail was extra thick. Yeah, the Passion Patties episode, especially. We were corrupted many years. Yeah, exactly. It's like if you grew up in the nineties or or early two thousands, you were you were gone. Hell, even the eighties had some had a few things here and there. Some stuff in the seventies. Right? <laughs> So Mimi and Arcanines is freaking thick. I I just love that that was a mission in Arcanines. They were like, "Hey, what team? What team are you gonna be on? Team Thin or Team Thick?" I'm like, "Was that even a question?" And the fact that that was an event where it's just like, "Hey, hey, there a bunch of lizard people are having a war because they can't because they can't decide whether or not one, they like thick or thin tails, <laughs> or they're just having a giant argument of which one is better." And I'm just like, God bless. <laughs> God bless the lizard people. Ah, that game is... That, that was a fun time. And the fact that Tomimi's tail is so freaking huge. Compared to Gabielle's. And the fact that for the third anniversary, they made a statue of Gabielle, but they made her tail thick. And it pissed her off. This is great. I was like, ah. That was a fun time. That was a fun stream. There we go. It would be weird if Becky didn't have a thick tail. She's got thick everything else. And that should be fine. I'm not going to bother messing with that. Uh, I'll probably put like a little opening back here just to emphasize uh, yeah just a little bit her tail is on, her hair is a bit in the way so it's not gonna matter actually it should be curved so it'd be like this We don't need Sandy, we need answers, right? Got a friend that's totally lost to Gabriel. The event was hilarious seeing his reactions to everything. Ha! Ah. Funny, Becky's current hairstyle reminds me of the uh, female heat miser. Uh, I might have seen that like a long time ago. I'd have to check it out again. There we go. Alright. So I think for now, aside from any cleanup that I might do, she's pretty much done. If I decide to color her, then I'll add more details, like something to the dress design or something like that. And I probably should put some things in her hair. Just like something to... Make a little bit more dressed up. It's like little ribbons. Still got a half an hour, so I can probably work on. A blood orange pick. Let's 
So yeah, if I don't color it, then if I decide not to color it, then I'll probably just put out the line art version first. Or I can just do that, like put out the line art version and then maybe sometime in the future I can go back and color it. That way there's always something to do. Just lying just for the hell of it. Okay. Let's make that better. There we go. Add dialogue? Um, uh, maybe. I'll probably do that off stream. Just having her complain about being in a tight dress. Just be like, does it have to be so tight? Or say something like she can barely move. Cause like, you gotta remember, her thigh is like right here. <laughs> so if she does any extreme movements, she's just gonna end up ribbing it. Oh yeah, I should probably make it tight around her hips. I have like some some folding here. Her creasing. There we go. Still feels like her boobs are too small. This is like what the fifth time I've adjusted her boot her bust. I swear, if Twitch got onto me about for for making her boobs bigger, I'd be pissed because there's a freaking VTuber whose boobs are freaking gigantic, and she's a cow. So I'm like, don't even start. Like, we all know you like you like the the ladies Twitch. perfectly fine but lots of things anyway okay did that did that all right so it should be good for now if I want to make any tweaks I can so save all right so let's get blood orange and even if I don't finish Blood Orange, I can work on it next time. So Blood Orange can close that. Keep these references just in case. Grab a reference for Blood Orange. Uh, let's see. Next time on Viral Ball Z. <laughs> There's no such thing as too big. <laughs> Eh, to a degree. Because obviously I would... Because, like, it's kind of like almost saying there's no such thing as too big for, like, a fat character. Like, you would want to... Like, I mean, everyone has a different preference, so this is just for my take. But, um, like, in the comic with um, I have for Skylar, it's like, yeah, he likes big women, but he at least want them to be mobile or else he can't show them off. Like, what the hell?
I follow furry VTubers on here. Favorite. Corgi cam. I think I've seen corgis. I'm horrible with names, so if I did see somebody. <laughs> For some reason, I read your name as Vero. Everyone reads it as that. <laughs> Very few people have gotten the name um, Viro. I just roll with it. It's perfectly fine if you if you mispronounce it. I'm not gonna like chastise you for it. So it's perfectly fine. It was funny because there's a YouTuber I follow named um, um, Twisted Disaster, and me and her like like she's known me for like four years, and she and based on my avatar and based on other content I've had and even like my skull made outfit she thought it was a girl until I started talking and then she was like oh what are your pronouns I was like oh he him's like wait so you let me miss miss uh gender you this entire time I was like yeah I thought it was funny I just rolled with it I didn't care um isn't there some snake vtuber with like cosmically huge button thighs probably <laughs> I know I've seen a snake vtuber I just can't remember which ones because I know I've seen more than one and then there's like one VTuber who uses like a model who has a pretty big butt and thighs. Probably. I've probably seen them. I'm just horrible with names. Okay, so anyway. Fat Blood Orange. Uh, what kind of reference do I want to look at for that? And she has to remain clothed, so we're gonna have to take that into account. We can try this. So yeah, so like for the next twenty minutes or so. Alright. Actually, let's put her in a different position. Need more furry VTubers though. Not enough of them. At least not the ones that I've come across. Maybe I'll have her in a stalking pose. Just have her really hefty. Maybe drooling. Chubby. It's probably similar to what I'm gonna do with her in her comic. Like after she has her initial storyline, just have her pig out for the hell of it. Okay, Blood Orange is gonna be a special case because I need her line art to see where the hell I did with her hair. I was like, I cannot see what I did with your hair. And I'll just put this eye here just so I have something to gauge. Well, yeah, all, all the cream filled characters. Um, except for probably the BLT gang, unless I just do it for fun, um, are gonna have some kind of fat moment. Um, 
it's either going to be part of their plot for their for their storyline or it's going to be after the fact um same thing for like the the same thing I did for Kiwi cuz if it's not relevant to what I'm trying to show then I'm not going to make it part of it but it's going to happen um in their series because that's literally what their series is um catered to Not sure if it'll always be like a comic sequence, like if it'll be like a full on like comic thing of them gaining weight, but they're still gonna have weight gain artwork. Um, who is this scissor man inspired character you got here? <laughs> yeah, you got that she's inspired by Scissor Man from Clock Tower. <laughs> Holy crap, look at that one details in the line art oh yeah there's a lot of stuff that I do on the site because like if you look at the color one you just see you know a little bit of dark shading and stuff like that and that's about it really but uh, once you take away the color it's like oh <laughs> there's so much more yes the scissorman <laughs> Quick, get a get a emergency tape. He can't cross that. Let's see. I can just do the basic shape of her head because I can cover it in hair. ironic that I can do it this I can do this but I can't like start with construction lines I'll just do some of her hair because I'm gonna have to draw the rest of her body first And this is the part that is a deer and I must hide from her. Yeah, if she gets too hefty though, she'll it'll take her a while to hunt her prey. <laughs> and she enjoys horror, so she likes doing all the tropes. Where it looks like she passes you by as she's trying to look for you and then suddenly she's in front of the door. Or gap in a in a closet or something. To paraphrase Daffy Duck. <laughs> Build a the white deer. Built for self preservation. Self preservation. Uh, him. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like watching John Tron. John Tron's fun. I like him when he's just crazy. Okay, let's give her a thick neck. Or big thick. But yeah, I hope everybody here is enjoying themselves. So far, we're at twenty four followers. That's not bad. I think it's good for a first day coming back and then Friday I'm gonna definitely um, play play um, smash and the will of the wisps I have to say the whole title or else people are gonna think I'm talking about smash brothers which I would play smash but 
I do not ha one. I do not have a uh, a capture card thingy. And two, I have not gotten the online for for the Switch, so that'd be another thing I'd have to do. So for now, just PC games and whatever it is I have already bought. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad you're having a good time. Posted Octavia. Oh, cool. I'm glad people like it. Or it went off like a firecracker. I mean, is that good or bad? Now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. Switch Online is 20 a year. A third of... Yeah, it's not. It's not really. It's not really the the price. It's more just the uh, stability of the online. Like I would probably have to get wired, if possible. I don't even know if they sell those things anymore. But that'll be a time. That'll be a idea for another time. For now, I'll have to stick with whatever I can play on my PC before I invest in capture cards and other stuff. They charge more if you want to play 64 and all that. Well, luckily I still own a 64, so I don't have to think about that. For my rating, it makes it... If it makes a bigger bang, the better. Okay... Chunky. I like my women the way I like my peanut butter. Chunky. Big. And yeah, like uh, like Alex has suggested, I'll try looking into like a voice thing to see if I can fit around with that, because that could be fun. It'll just have to be a trial and error. Like, obviously, I'm just getting started, so I gotta work my way there. Welcome, Bubble. Thanks for the thanks for the follow, Bubba. Yes, Bubba. <laughs> Bubba Boo. <laughs> I like the name. You like my voice the way it is too. Thanks. <laughs> like I said, for Becky, I can I can always try to miss Doctor Girlfriend type of things. Like I can always just you know deepen it even more. Oh no, the monarch is trying to stop the Venture Brothers. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. Know. Like I said, I'm just gonna have fun with it. That's all that matters. And if I can do more with my avatar, then I will. Just gotta give it time. Surprise it. Uh, there's probably something that lets me have a notification that I probably don't have turned on. I'll have to fiddle with that when um, once the stream is over. Like I said, like I try to get this put together as as basic as I could. So there's probably like some things I didn't turn on, or some 
set up on um, OBS that I haven't put together yet. So hopefully I'll get that together for tomorrow. If not, then I'll um, probably try this weekend. And I still have Patreon stuff to work on too, so I'll be doing stuff like that. I should make a Kitsune in Fox or Foxtel Avatar. Well, if I make Kitsune, she's gonna be wearing clothes. <laughs> Unless I make her for um, for Picardo, then she can be Nike. So yeah, maybe I'll just have like exclusive avatars for different streams. That can be a thing. Uh, full disclosure, Kitsunes. <laughs> Sorry, my weakness. Kitsunes. <laughs> Good. We, I like Fox Women as well. I mean, I like a lot of things, let's be honest. It's really hard to, to not get my interest. You think Jam has a reference for flat chested, <laughs> slender characters? <laughs> Oh, well, she's got some boob, but yeah, she is. She's not. She's not very busty. She doesn't really have melons, but she brings in the cake. Fake floof tails. Let's see. So I've got that. Do ah, time. Why? Nah, I still got six minutes. Uh, why does it look like? Blood orange and resting her tits on the table. <laughs> They're gonna be on her belly. <laughs> Cause she gonna be big. She gonna be chunky. So like this for example. And then this would probably be some of her belly that her boobs are resting on. She just looks like a gator character that I plan on using for a comic that's like on the hefty side. And it was either going to be weight game, vor, or some other theme. I'm trying to go all I'm trying to go around the spectrum of my personal interests that I want to draw which is why I do art sets because that way it lets me get some of that out uh, Zara Zara Zeki or Zara Zechi thank you for the follow thank you everybody for the follow this is this is helping out a lot I think I'm in love looking <laughs> so great, chunky. <laughs> Her love of gore is a load of cry. Ah, yeah. If I ever, if I get a chance to make um, emotes, um, I'll try to figure out which ones would be fun to make. Obviously, we'll have like ones of Becky just being like, just blank stare or something. Or like Skylar being like that's that's my fetish or that's my kink or something. Give her fat fingers. Croc and gator fats are rare. Really, croc and gator fats are rare. I figured those would those would be more common. Hello, Crusader. 
Crusader1080, thank you for the follow. Three more till 30, yay. <laughs> I was looking at one of the requirements for, I think it was like, affiliate or something like that for Twitch. It was like 30 hours of streaming for like, I think it was like seven different days or something like that. I was like, that that's not difficult. That, that's doable. YouTube, on the other hand, Jesus. Sometimes, unless you're making something memeable or whatever, or making a video that's focused on something popular, getting those 4,000 hours is going to be a pain. Uh, oh yeah, the slurp, the Gary from Ridiculous Cake, yeah. I love that animation, I have that saved. Gary's great. Honestly, more Gary and more of, um, ah, I forget, I forget the name of the goat girl. I'll have to look that up. But yeah, more of those two. I um, I like that that pairing. Might be just because they're more fairy related, but I like what I like. One of these days, I'll have to draw fan art of a bunch of characters that I like. First one of the or the remaster one, I probably don't even didn't even notice that there was that there was a remaster version. And now I'm in the problem where this is too small, so we're gonna have to change this. Uh, canvas size. I'm probably gonna need this much for this. Yeah, based on where I put her. And I will save this for the next time I stream, so that way people don't miss out on me working on this. And I'll put out I'll put up Becky's line art, the, the dressed up Becky, for um, just so we have some line work of it, in case I don't like decide a color. And if I do color, that'll be a separate thing. But yeah, um, this is where we're stopping for now. This has been a lot of fun. And I will stream again tomorrow at about... Uh, uh, Belladonna from Trials of Mana. Uh, oh yeah, I've seen her. I've, I've been wanting to draw her at some point. But um, yeah, I'll um, stream again tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific Time. So hopefully you'll join me again. I'm going to try to be more consistent with streaming. So um, yeah, let's just keep the ball rolling. Um, yeah, thank you again for coming, everybody. Thank you for the faves. Um, most of my links are at the bottom in the About section for like Patreon, Subscribestar, DeviantArt for Infinity, and Ink Money. Um, I'll, probably, I'll probably do a... Uh, link tree or something in the future, but if I don't need to, then I won't. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta spread the good word of, of thick thighs or just thick in general. BBW, fat, junky, you know we like them all here, <laughs> and we'll we'll eventually we'll eventually make the thighble, <laughs> the thighble and and or the thick the thickable, <laughs> I don't know whatever we're gonna call it, but um, yeah, I think thighble works the most, but yeah. Um, thank you for coming, everybody, and I will see you again tomorrow. All right? Take care, everyone.